Welcome to Destiny, Habakkuk 2-2 states, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables, that he may run that readeth it. Thomas and Sarah Abraham are reaching out to you, helping discover your purpose and future in the Lord. And now, here are your hosts, Thomas and Sarah Abraham. Greetings from Destiny TV. My name is Thomas Abraham. It's always a joy and privilege to come to you with the good news. You know, the word of God is a good news. When you look around all over the world, there is bad news, always issues and issues. But we are here bringing good news to you. Amen. When you hear the good news, what you hear is going to lead you. When you hear the good news, it's going to come into your heart, make you a good person. What is the good person? Be living right and giving healthy and have a joyful life until God, God call you home. So I'm so happy. Call some of your friends and family. Tune into Destiny TV so they can also get blessed with this program. And remember, call the number on the screen and our prayer partners and we'll be glad to hear from you. And if you have any suggestions, you have any prayers, call us and we'll be praying for you. Prayer works, folks. Prayer do miracles. I mean, I'm telling you, prayer can change things. Doesn't matter what it is, it will change. And I have seen it, I experience every day in my life. Prayer has power. God is an awesome God. He's a miracle working God. He's awesome in power and mighty in strength. There is nothing like that coming to God. So today I'm very happy to bring a young, handsome evangelist, Evangelist JJ. Amen. And I want you to greet them, Pastor. How y'all doing? I'm JJ Simmons. I'm, yes. I'm excited. I know some of you have seen me on the show a few times. I was on with your wonderful wife on Amazing Grace. And I'm just excited to be part of the Destiny TV family. And I promise you that if you continue watching this show today, God will give you a word that will help Hallelujah. you in your yes. life. So I'm excited to be here. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you, Jesus. You know why you are excited? Because <laughs> Jesus is here. Yes, sir. Yes, Because sir. we have seen the presence of God. When wherever the presence of God, you are excited because you don't have to worry about. Because the word of God says, cast your burden upon Jesus Christ. Many people tell you, I will do this or hey, I will lead you to the right way. So many gurus and so many leaders do that. But Jesus never leave you or nor forsake you. Amen. That is why I know evangelist JJ is excited. Am I Amen. right? Yes, sir. Yes, tell sir. us a little bit about you, brother. Well, right now I'm doing something that is so phenomenal. I just launched my TV show. Y'all going to see me. This is the first uh, TV network that you will see me on, and I'm so excited for the opportunity. You, I have a show that is called Thou Shall Prosper. Oh, and um, it's, it's amazing. Um, the Internet, my, uh, my Internet <coughs> audience has literally, like, blowed up. Like, I mean, like, over 40,000 views in, like, the last three months on Hallelujah. my, or just online period through my YouTube, my Facebook, my Instagram. It's just a lot going on. And I've interviewed a lot of people. So on this show, you're going to see me teaching the Word of God. You're going to see me interviewing different uh, people, entrepreneurs. I'm very passionate about interviewing entrepreneurs because I believe wisdom is everything. Mm -hmm. We're living in a time right now that uh, knowledge is everything. The Bible said that my people perish because of the lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. Not because of demons, not because of witches, not because because of money, not because of uh, whatever. We perish because of lack of knowledge. So I'm passionate about bringing awareness and bringing information to people through the word of God to show us that we can apply the principles of the kingdom of God to be successful. Hallelujah. So that's one thing I'm doing. And I also have another uh, segment on my TV show that's called Fruits of Evangelism. Mm -hmm. With me, I interview different people who have purchased some of my CDs, purchased some of my stuff, and just been blessed by it and helped them come to the Lord. Of course. I have a street ministry. I'm on the street six days out the week. I have a c right. The CD that I gave you a few yes, weeks ago, yes. I sell them on the street every day. Oh, okay. I've been doing that full-time ministry for the last seven years and I run into a lot of people on the street who get on camera and oh, testify you, how the ministry that God has entrusted Jesus. me with has been a blessing to them. Hallelujah. So I'm excited to launch on uh, channel 15. I'm excited. Oh my God. I tell you brother, you know, the book of Proverbs talk about, I am a firm believer in it. When you're lending to the least, you're lending to God. That's right. You know, what is God tell you? To, you know, every you know, other day I pre, you know, preach in a church. I was asking God, what is, I think I should preach? 
I don't want to go preach unless you give me something. Right. And he said, preach about investing in others. I mean, it's very important. I mean, you know, I am saved. I'm glad. I'm thank God for it. I know God is with me. But if I don't invest that in others, the word of God says it is our responsibility to take this message to uttermost part of the world. That's right. Even the angels don't have the right. Only you and me have. That's it. right. That's right. So I appreciate you doing it as a young man and Amen. you looking. I know when I heard you, I heard that a couple of times, your CD. I mean, it is an encouraging for me. You are so excited Amen. and <laughs> vibrant for Jesus Christ. That's and right. You are radical for Jesus. I mean, that's what we need. People, when you, God come to you, when you receive, you receive Jesus in your heart, doesn't matter who you are. You may be another religion or wherever you're from, but once you have Jesus in you, things are going to change. That's right. It's turning you around. You cannot be, you, you have to be excited. That's it. That's, you cannot do nothing else. You cannot help. So the ministry, you know, I appreciate and we'll be here. Our prayer partners maybe will be praying for you. Amen. Thank and you. we need to reach out the whole over the city and nation and the world with the good news. Amen. It is our job because the evil power, the enemy is dominating all over the world. Even our city, you know, what is happening, you know, equal rights like that. Yes, yes, it you was know, crazy, many right? Many brothers and sisters prayed, we are not condemning anybody, but God prevailed. God said, I will give you the desires of your heart. You know, the wrong thing is wrong, always. It's, right. it's a common sense, folks. You know, when you, God give you something, you need to think about it. Do right, not your men knowledge or anything. God is the one. Anything you do, if you do according to the will of God, will last. Everything else like um, a person build a house on a sand. That's right. When a storm comes in, everything will go. It's take a second. But if you do something for the kingdom of God, will last strong like a house built on a rock. That's right. Solid rock. Wow. And Christ is our solid rock. That's right. He's our foundation. Amen. And I appreciate you are uh, excited about that. Tell us more about your um, ministry and your <clears throat> Well, one thing I really want to get people to understand, as you was talking just now, the Holy Spirit reminded me Thank of a scripture Jesus. that I have been applying to my life for a long time. And I know that there is somebody watching today that you have a desire to see the purpose of God manifest in your life. Yes. You have this burning, I mean, you just, you've been pursuing the call of God that's on your life for a long time. Oh, but yeah. I wanna give you a key today that's gonna bless you and help you get to where God is trying to bring you. Look at what it's saying, Mark, Mark uh, 16, mm -hmm. verse 20. And this is what it say. Um, I'm gonna wait for you, uh, Pastor no, Abraham. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. 16 and 20 says, and they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through accompanying signs. Amen. This is what I want you to understand. The Bible said that the Lord work with them. Yes. Not for them. No, with them. With them. See, the thing is, what you really need to understand is that God, he wants to move from being your master and your Lord and become your business partner. Hallelujah. Yes. And I, I really want you to get that. The Bible say he worked with them, not for them. And a lot of you are watching and you are waiting for the Lord to work for you. Hallelujah. But God is saying today that he want to work with you. Amen. See, the thing Hallelujah. about is this here is that when I go out and I go evangelize and I'm selling my CDs and I'm walking up to people and I'm evangelizing, I'm working with God, God not God working for me. I don't sit inside. I don't wait for the harvest to come to me. No, the you're... harvest is in the field. Hallelujah. Yes. The harvest is in the field. So God is telling me to tell you today that he wants to listen to what I'm about to say. Every now and Hallelujah. then the disciples, they called him master. Every now and then they called him Lord. But every now and then they called him teacher. Teacher, yes. See, the thing is, is that you have to learn to become a student of the teacher. Mm -hmm. But then you also have to move and become a partner with the master. Because the Bible say he work with them. Yes. He wants to work with you. He want to help you get to where you're trying to go. He want a partnership with you to get you where he's trying to bring you. But you must play your part. part. You must play your part because right. unless you play your part, you're going to sit there. Uh, exactly. You know, brother, you hit at the right place, um, which is something that touched my heart because many years ago, I was um, listening to uh, late, the great man of God, Pastor E.V. Hill. You heard about him. I've heard you. E.V. Hill. Okay. He's a pastor from Los Angeles. Okay, okay. And he said one day he was preaching, 
and he said um, you know in the book of jo- isaiah he talking about when god of god lord of lord and god of god is sitting on the great throne and 24 hours the seraphs worshiping him right and getting up and worshiping him and he asked the people one of the senior one of the pastors asked a senior pastor how can somebody can do 24 hours do the same thing <laughs> and he said don't they get tired he said no because god is an awesome god he changes with your situation if you are a sick person god become a doctor for you right. if you are a lonely person he become a companion for you so the seraphs bow down and worship you the lord holy and worship him and get up the glory changes when the glory changes they don't have any choice but worship him again when they get up the glory changes again amen see that is what it is when you do your part god going to be in front of you and change the situation he will be there before you and make the situation straight for you wow if you are going to a street ministry before you go god will be there and preparing the place for you that's right all you have to do your part hallelujah that that's is right. the way the kingdom of that's god right. works Man, listen, Hallelujah. you need to continue to continue watching this network Hallelujah. because I promise you, Thank you Jesus. the word of God will revolutionize your life. Yes. Listen, you have to learn how to stand on the word of God, believe the word of God. Mm-hmm. See, this is the thing. Many people believe in God, but they don't believe God. Yes. And there's a difference. We believe in his existence, but we don't believe that he's a God of his word. Yes. And I want to challenge you today. I don't know what it is that you are pursuing for God, but I want to challenge you to do something with the investment. Hallelujah. See, oh, I thought you were about to say something. This is oh, this I have uh based my whole life in ministry on Matthew 25 with the parable of the talents Pastor Abraham. Yes. The Bible says that the master he gave one five, he gave one two, two and one, he gave one. another one one. But the Bible say it's so interesting to me that the Bible say that when the master he gave them the talent the Bible say that the master left and went on a long journey. Now it's it is interesting to me that the master he did not tell them what to do with the talent. Exactly. He just gave it to him and he left. But through natural instinct they had this understanding that they had to multiply the talent. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something you need to do something. Listen, I don't care what it is that you're doing. I brought a camera in New York City for $200 and that one little camera, it was this small. I produced over 400 videos on YouTube. 400 something videos that I produced myself that I did, but listen, I didn't have the the TV studio. I didn't have I didn't have none of that. I didn't have the New York, you know. I had something basic. I had one talent. Hallelujah. I had one thing that the master had invested in me and it was my responsibility to do something with that camera to produce it so the glory of God can be revealed. Hallelujah. Oh God. Well, you know, a lot of people Harala. you know, brother, a lot of people wait and see somebody to sp- sp- spoon feed them. Right. That's not the way the kingdom of God works. That's right. You do your part. and then god will take care of it that's right bible said i will be there with you always wherever you go god will be there and that is what the, even the where, where you said the even the book of mark at the almost to the last word of god says that i will be with you always and you know doesn't matter what happen that is a promise for that's right word never changes people may change people may tell you i will do this may never keep up their promise but the word of god never change it is always if you believe in it if god says is going to do it he said i will be with you always doesn't matter where you go he'll be with you and you need to use your talent doesn't matter what god gave you what is in your hand that is what a god asked moses what is in your hand that's right whatever in your hand do it and wow. people still waiting for the big thing to happen no start what the least what here you start using for the kingdom of god God will multiply that. That's right. I mean, That's Jesus, a promise. If you're faithful with few, he will make you a ruler. Exactly. Over much. Over much. You go from servant to ruler. If right. you're faithful with few, he'll Thank make you a ruler over much. That's a promise. Folks, nothing is impossible for God. You might have seen the failure, maybe people let you down. I feel in my spirit that some of you feel like you are down, somebody let you down. Could be anybody. but i want you to tell you shake it off and get up <laughs> right now today 
and God is going to take care of you. He said, your life is starting today. Amen. You have a better, better life than ever before. You're going to be a master on everything. God is going to make you a king of everything. Because Bible, you are the most important person for our God. You are created in his own image. How precious you, you are in the sight of God. So you cannot be sitting there and crying. All you have to do is get up and claim your victory. That's what wow. the brother tell you. Amen. Claiming it is very important. Yes, that indeed. nobody can tell you. All we can do is tell you. But it is your job to receive that and claim it. We can have a big feast on the table. We bring you there. We cannot. All we can tell you, go out and enjoy it. You have to get your hand or a fork and start feeding yourself. Then you will get, your stomach will be full. Wow. Nobody can, with the word, we cannot fill your stomach. No way. But you have to act on it. And I can tell you, brother, there are many, many people in their life. They gone without fulfilling their destiny. It hurt me every time. People God created, they have so much talent and power. Okay. They have a reason. They blame others right. or they say, yeah. oh, I'm not worthy or they told me the worthy. You know what? God said, no, don't you believe that? You are a powerful and the most precious person in the sight of God. See, the thing is, Pastor Abraham, the concept of my TV show, Thou Shalt Prosper, came from Genesis when the first thing God told man was to be fruitful and multiply. multiply. That was the very first conversation God had with man. He didn't tell him to build houses. He didn't tell him to make disciples. Mm -hmm. He didn't even tell him to build churches. And I truly believe with all my heart that God wouldn't have spoke that to man unless man had the potential Hallelujah. to be fruitful and multiply. You, would, you wouldn't ask your, your, your two-year-old son to wash the car because he don't have the capacity to. to you would only ask him something that you know he's able to fulfill. And I, that's what I believe. I believe that God, he would see every, every human being on the inside have this desire to be greater, to I do mean, something significant, I mean, to be fruitful and multiply. Everybody. The Bible says, do not quench the spirit. Hallelujah. And most of the time, most, I know I use some, I'm going to blame it on myself. When I first started preaching, I would use that scripture because I wanted to be in a revival service for seven hours. But in reality, when you are not fulfilling the purpose of God on your life, you are quenching the spirit. Yeah. The word quench means to put out. Like to, you know, blow out smoke or something, yeah. blow out a fire. That's what quench mean. So every time you allow the, the father of lies to convince you that you can't fulfill the destiny that's on your life, you are quenching the spirit. You are flaming, you are blowing out the flame that God has deposited within your heart. Hallelujah. Listen. Thank Stop you. quenching the spirit. Yes. Believe God. Listen, I remember uh, Pastor Abraham. I went to Israel in 2013. Mm -hmm. And the pastor that I went to Israel with, he walked up to me. He's a, a famous preacher all over TV, all over the country. He walked up to me. He invited me to IHOP that night. He was preaching here in Houston. And he looked at me. He said, young man, he said, I want you to come to Israel with me. Mm. And I was like, OK. I was excited, but I didn't want to admit to him that I didn't have the faith to go. Because I was like, well, I'm going to pay for it. How am I going to do it? Yeah. But he looked at me and he said, I want you to come to Israel with me. I mean, I mean. Six days, Pastor Abraham, I came up with the money to, to, to fly to Israel. Hallelujah. I went to Israel for 13 days, but God taught me something. The whole time, I had that faith on the inside. See, watch this. Faith is like a toothbrush. You have to use it every day. Hallelujah. 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 You have to dig. See, Jesus said this. He said, the kingdom of God does not come by observation. The kingdom of God is within you. I mean, the kingdom, the kingdom, the glory of God, the power of God, the wisdom of God is on the inside. Hallelujah. And you have to pull from this kingdom mm. that God has given you. Because when you got saved, you received the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the kingdom of God. Oh, you receive the kingdom. Jesus equipped you with everything you, my God, I feel the power Hallelujah. of God. He Thank equipped you, you with everything that you need to fulfill Please. the call of God. When God came to Moses and he said, go get my people. At that moment, Moses had everything on the inside to fulfill that call of God that was on his life. Listen. Thank you, Jesus. When you were sitting in church that day and you was worshiping and your hands was lifted and God gave you this idea to start this business, at that immediate moment, God deposited within you everything that you need to fulfill that call of God that's on your life. 
Hallelujah. You know, that is what, Woo! this is a Holy Spirit speaking to you folks. I know some of you maybe wasted your life all this time, but telling you to wake up. Amen. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Wow. When you do your part, God will come in and take care of you. You may worry about how do I pay just like if you're going to Israel. Right. When you decided, oh, I like to go, that desire came to you, God provided it. Right. Don't worry about tomorrow. You know, you worry about how I'm going to do it. Let God take care of it. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Cast your burden upon Jesus Christ. He is the God who will well able to take care of it. Wow. He knows where you are right now sitting on that couch. He knows that. He's right there for you. Just ask him. Come to your heart. He will come to you. I'm going to have the man of God talk a minute and then pray for you today. Okay. We have another four minutes. Go ahead. Um, Let them know how can they receive the Christ right now. Okay. Thank listen. you, Jesus. Maybe Hallelujah. you've been running away from God. Hallelujah. You've been feeling that the call of God that's on your life is costing you a little bit too much. But I'm going to tell you something. Everything that God has given you, you already have the ability on the inside through the partnership of the Holy Spirit to see it come to pass. So listen, I want to I wanna challenge you today that if you've been straying away from God, you've been running from God, you've been feeling you, the father of lies lie to you a little bit too much and you have found yourself accepting the lies of the father of lies, I want to break that over your mind Thank today. You, listen, just pray with me right now. Just, just repeat after me. Say, Father God, Father God, in Jesus, name, in Jesus' name, I receive the renewing of my mind. I receive the, renewing I receive of my mind. the refreshing of my spirit. I the and I command mind. every lie that the enemy has spoken to me I command all that is to, be removed. to be removed. I break them in the name break, of Jesus. I and I receive your power. Hallelujah. I receive your strength. Yes. I receive your wisdom. Oh, yes. I receive Hallelujah. your understanding. You, and I receive your power. Hallelujah. To fulfill yes. the destiny of God that's on my life. Amen. Forgive me for all my sins. Oh, yes. Forgive me for doubting your power. Thank Forgive you. me for not believing oh, that, yes. that you are able and, and more than able to do exceedingly abundantly more Jesus. than what I can ask or think. Yes. Forgive me for doubting you, God. Hallelujah. Forgive me for not truly believing in the word of God. Hmm. And I receive your word as truth yes. in my life. I believe the word. I believe that nothing is impossible to him oh, yeah. that believes. Oh, yeah. I challenge you to believe the word of God and walk on yeah. the water in midst of the storm, in midst of everything. Trust God for exceedingly abundantly more than what you can ask or think Thank and you. receive him as your Lord and Savior right now. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I do believe in my heart that is, Holy Spirit has spoken to you and all you have to do is believe it and take in your heart. You will never be the same and call the number on the screen. Yes, I am telling you from my experience and the brother told you that. There is a different feeling when you have the Jesus in you, you will be changed. You will be a blessing from the curse. You will be a great giver than receiving. Amen. You know, you may be receiving, you may be worried about your job. You know what? Cast your burden upon him. He, the Holy Spirit, the God will take care of it. And Bible says, taste and see how good God is. Amen. All you have to do is do that. And I do believe you are God blessed today. And keep us in your prayers too. We want to continue to be there. And anyway, we can bless you. And we would like to invite you to some Bible preaching church. Call the number so we'll be glad to guide you there. Amen. And our prayer partners are there for you. Just pray for you. Just when you call the number, we will be praying for you. Prayer works. And call the number on the screen. You need to reach Evangelist JJ. He's a wonderful man of God. I, I, he made me very excited. I wish I had the voice like him to shout, <laughs> but you know what, God sometimes, oh, every time I speak, my voice gets a little tired, but God is an awesome God. Amen. You know that, God going to use him and continue to pray for him too, because we all need your praise and we'll be praying for you. Amen. Once you are in Christ, you are a new creation, all pa things are passed away, you don't even worry about the past anymore. Amen. Everything is a great thing restored for you. God, when give you 
his hand is bigger than ours or anybody's. Mm -hmm. So you will be blessed, your workplace will be blessed, your family blessed. And that is our promise to you. Amen. So call the number on the screen until we meet again. May God richly bless you. Amen. Hallelujah.